Let's talk about what makes this thing secure. And, and I guess this would be because you're looking at critical infrastructure, because the users could be public safety, for instance. Uh, there's a lot of data that maybe would be sensitive. So what has Parrot done to kind of step even further into the security of that data? Yes. Alors, I'll start with 4G and then it's going to be linked to cybersecurity. So we've developed, why did we develop the 4G drone? We developed the 4G drone because we very much believe that the future is to have a UAV connected to internet while flying. Because you could, you can do, if you think about it, you can do a bunch of things when your drone is connected to internet. You can send data, you can actually have a software that needs to ping the drone and get some data while flying. And so you send it to a cloud and you do something with this data. I mean, there is a bunch of possibilities. So right now, the 4G serves two, two main purposes. One is no range limit. This drone, of course, according to legislation and of course, regulation. Of course, according to legislation and yes, regulation. Yes, but this drone is, is ready for Bivilos. Because mm. you, you, uh, you can be in Utah, I can be in Florida, and take off the NFI that is in your garden with, my with the controller I have. Um, so it's Bivilos ready. Also, 4G and the, the robustness of the link is not necessarily only useful for Bivilos. It's also very useful for EVLOS operation. I have the case of a firefighter from a, from a, a city uh, out east where they operate in a very busy environment, it's a big city, and between the towers, sometimes being an RF link or Wi-Fi link, he loses the link with mm -hmm. the drone. So the 4G for him is very useful in this type of environment. So that's like the connection side of things with the 4G. Then it's the ability to have this connected to internet, and so, for example, with the, the Free Flight 7, you could upload your images that you've taken with the photogrammetry mission directly to Pix4D Cloud while flying or while having the drone in your car, but while being on your mission mm -hmm. directly. So you're back in the office and everything has been sent and is processing already. So the 4G capabilities, I mean, it's, it's opening a, a wide uh, world of opportunities to have the drone itself connected to internet and last but not least on 4G the drone is carrier agnostic uh, so it means that it's going to operate on the different carriers in the US it is operating on the different carriers in the US uh, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T um, and you just simply put a SIM card an activated SIM card in the drone so a SIM card that is having access to internet put it in the drone and automatically the drone will connect to the 4G.